What's up guys? I'm Nick and this is Build Dev Build and I feel the need, the need for speed. One of the most common questions I get about lasers is will it engrave metal? And the answer to that is twofold. One, do you want to mark metal or do you want to engrave metal? Because you can mark metal with a low power fiber laser. You need a pretty high power fiber laser to actually engrave into the metal. But I think what most people really want to do is they just want to mark on metal. I get a lot of questions about engraving pew pews and knives and other kinds of weaponry. And most of the time what they're really asking is if they can mark on metal. They want to put a symbol on their pew pew. They want to mark something on a knife. They don't necessarily want to get into the metal. And for that, the solution is a little cheaper. <laughs> You're talking about like kind of a low powered fiber laser. I've been searching around for a good deal for a low price for you guys. And I think I finally found it right here. The Mr. Roboto. Don't know. Just kidding. It's the Mr. Carve M1. So this little dude right here has been blowing my mind all day. It is so fast. Okay, watch how fast this thing is. What? 12 seconds and I started that before I started the laser. Look at that. All right, it's a little low, but all right. That's craziness. I always thought it would be cool if you were doing tags for dogs, it's do a QR code on the back. So if your dog ever gets lost, the people can scan it and it'll give them your information. And the question is, does this work? So let's get in here. There we go. Oh, got it. Nice. Ooh, yeah. Go watch that video. Okay, let's talk ease of setup. This thing literally comes in just like two parts. So when it comes in the box, and this is the reason I didn't do an unboxing of it, there is a single screw under here. And this pops off. And we're gonna put the cap on that. Boop. And the only other thing you need to worry about is this screw right here. This is all connected, by the way, already. This is how fast you set this thing up. This goes in here. I'm gonna tighten this guy real quick. We tighten that up. This guy goes up. There's four set screw, well, I call them screws, but those four little knobs. <laughs> this thing goes on. And then your thumb screw. And once you get that in there, if you can get that in there, you're good to go. Another thing to note about this is the reason this thumb screw is here is so you can take this and you can flip this around if need be and aim it off the back of the device. If you had something that didn't fit on the base here, you can flip this around and engrave the other way. That's back. But that's it. You've got your power and you've got your USB jack in here. That goes on the computer, this goes on the wall, right? And then you have a really simple operation on the front where you've got your power button, you've got your start button over here. So in order to focus, when we turn this on, you're gonna have one beam that comes at an angle here and one beam that comes directly out of the laser. And then we're gonna move this up and down until those become one point and then you know you're focused. So these buttons run it up and down. And to focus, all we're gonna do is run these until they run into each other. And you've got a single beam. Re and brass once and it doesn't look all that great. So I'm just gonna go ahead and slow it down a little bit. So a little over a minute, I'm trying to get a good angle for you. There we go. So the max engraving side is 70 millimeters by 70 millimeters. For you US folks like me, that is a little under three inches uh, by three inches. All right, and while Mr. Carve is doing his thing, I just wanted to say thanks for sticking around till this point in the video. I really appreciate it. Hit that like button if you're down with the fiber laser. And if you haven't subscribed to the channel, please consider doing so. It really helps me out. And an extra special thanks goes to all of my patrons, my little flying monkeys, if you will. We've had a decent amount of activity over on the Patreon page lately. I highly consider going and checking it out, joining up if that's your thing. Might even give away a laser. We've got a couple new additions to the Build Dad Build crew. 
So I'd want to give a single shout out to John Herman and Cameron G. Clinkies, I haven't picked up my kid jet's water. And as always, an extra special warm fuzzy hug to all of my Boilermaker or top tier patrons. Steven Mann, Eric Weiss, Derek Coates, Chuck Faulkner, Puffy Muffins, Andy the Viking, Todd Stewart, Paul Christensen, Jason Ayers, Reed Means, and I'd like to welcome our newest spoiler maker, Cody. Double on the rocks. All right, now don't forget to join Patreon and hit subscribe. Let's check this thing out. Whoop. Also, fiber lasers, as I discussed in a different video, um, they require a different pair of, of safety goggles. I, I, I don't know about the ones that came with it, but I went ahead and bought uh, these from uh, Free Scott or Frescott. These filter out this spectrum of laser. Now I've heard, and I don't know if I believe it and I'm not gonna trust it, I've heard that fiber lasers you can watch while they're going. And I don't, I don't buy that. So don't forget to stay protected kids and wear your rubbers. And your eye protection. Whoop. All right, so I got over here a little late. That was probably more like nine minutes. And I think it ran twice. But check that out. Look at that detail. Good. Looks good. And now you know what it's time for. It's time for Nerd Facts. First off, this thing is super light compared to other like Galvo or larger fiber lasers. 6.2 kilograms. Alexa, how much is 6.2 kilograms? So it's like 14 pounds. It has a two watt peak output. And I know that sounds low, but you see what it can do. It can engrave up to 10,000 millimeters per second. It's, it's more of like an industrial grade build than like your laser packers and other kind of similar units. This is much more like substantial. It's an all metal construction. It, it just Mmm, feels good. The carving accuracy is less than 0.001 millimeters. Now let's talk penetration. The M1 can actually engrave to a depth of up to 0.2 millimeters. So you kind of feel it a little bit, but it's not really gonna carve metal. Laser's wavelength is 1,064 nanometers. And that should just about do it for Nerd Facts. Say this thing's affordable, of course it's a laser, so it's gonna run you some, some ducats. But you're looking at about 13, 1400 bucks, and I got a promo code down below for 10% off on Amazon. I think this laser checks all the boxes for most folks that have been asking me about marking on metal. I get, did go ahead and test it out on a couple of different metals. We got a little titanium here, some stainless steel, some carbon steel. I'm sorry this is so small, I didn't realize it was so small but carbon steel, a brass. Is that focusing without my face in there? But we also did copper. I think nickel turned out pretty well. And then check out anodized aluminum. That looks amazing. So let's talk pros and cons. So pro, uh, price point. I know it may be a little pricier than other units that kind of do the same thing, but for the quality, this is much more worth it. Plus, other units in this range, some of them don't do metal. Some of them you can't adjust like your lines per inch and things like that. You gotta put ease of assembly in there. I like, this doesn't need an assembly video. You gotta love it when the instructions are four pictures and the first one says, take it out of the box. Another pro to me is their proprietary software because it's so robust. You can control just about everything with the laser with it. I haven't even dipped a toe into it yet. Now, I don't want that to intimidate you. Check this out. Their operations manual, the majority of this is telling you if you wanna do, if, if you wanna do a picture, this is how you do a picture and how to set it up for each one of those things. Um, there's references for your carving powers and speeds. So at least to get started with it, it's pretty easy. And honestly, I just think it's cool how fast that thing goes. That being said, let's talk cons. I would say the engraving area can be a con. 70 by 70 millimeters may seem kind of small to you, but think about what you're actually wanting to engrave. And I have been asked about knives, and I guess if you wanted to do like all over a knife, you may have to tile it, you may have to like kind of mark it and then move it, but you could create a jig for that pretty easy. Another con can be 
the software because you are having to learn another piece of software. I tell you what, if you don't have a fiber now, you're gonna have to learn a new piece of software anyway. And another con can be power, but I think you really need to ask yourself what exactly you're trying to do. Because I wouldn't mind having a fiber laser that could actually engrave into the metal to a certain degree. But a lot of people, are, like I said, are just wanting to mark stuff. And I think this does it just fine. In summary, I say for the price point, you can't beat it. For competitors of this laser, to me, are just inferior products. So this is probably the best price point to get you into a fiber laser. And I would suggest this unit just to see if you really want to continue using a fiber laser. It may not be your thing. And then at least you're not out five, 10 grand. And until next time, thanks for playing. And now I gotta get to work. And by work, I mean I gotta go pick up the kids. Whoop! And most of <clears throat> Stop. <laughs> the Mr. Roboto. Don't know. Okay, it's not. It's not. <clears throat> Let's make sure, can you hear me? Dip, 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 dip. Everything's connected. I just totally dropped it on this face. Get this shit out of here. I wasn't really gonna throw it. It's broke to din, as my kids would say. Are you not straight? Can't ask that question anymore, Nick. Another con. I spit, you see that? It's also wiping my face off because you're all close up in my shit. And until next time, ow, <laughs> I just hit myself in the wiener.